but they need immediate help. If we're looking at the, the price cap going up to, what, over £4,000 a year at the beginning of next year, do you not think they need immediate help? And simply cutting taxes won't do that. Well... I believe it will do exactly that, government, um, already to see what more can be done. Liz has been clear she will do all that she can uh, to really help those who are finding it difficult right now. Um, and so let's see what the situation actually is after this leadership contest is over. We all know what the situation is. Sorry? Okay. Well, hello there, and I do hope you're all well. Now, in this video, Kimberly Leonard from Sky was interviewing Rani Jaywana, sorry if I butchered the name, where she basically says people are needing immediate help with the cost of living and simply cutting taxes won't do that. And of course, being a Tory, you know, loves tax cuts. He disagrees and saying, I believe it will do exactly that. These are just projection, projections. Let's see what the situation is after the leadership contest, you know, because like uh, poor people... <sighs> They've got time on the hands to wait, I suppose. But they need immediate help. If we're looking at the, the price cap going up to, what, over £4,000 a year at the beginning of next year, do you not think they need immediate help? And simply cutting taxes won't do that. Well, I believe it will do exactly that. First of all, the one-year pause on the energy levy will bring down energy bills. So that helps people very, very quickly. Uh, reversing the national insurance rise against saves hardworking people something like uh, 240 pounds a year. This all sends a very clear signal alongside the uh, corporation tax, um, uh, the cut to corporation tax that's been proposed to stop it rising, um, that that is a country that wants to grow the economy. And if we grow the economy, that's how we'll help people uh, improve uh, their living standards in uh, not only uh, the short term, but in the long term. And there is work going on in government um, already to see what more can be done. Liz has been clear she will do all that she can uh, to really help those who are finding it difficult right now. Um, but the responsible thing, uh, the honest thing to do, is to consider those proposals when in office. And so Liz is not prime minister. If the Conservative Party chooses to make her prime minister, she will want to make decisions in light of all the facts I think at that it's time. It's the responsibility of your party to be dealing with this now, regardless of who's in charge. Well, uh, there is, I think. Uh, my, my friend and colleague, Greg Hans, was on just a moment ago and did explain that uh, work has um, taken place under Boris Johnson to support people at this time. The projections are just projections at this point. Um, and so let's see what the situation actually is after this leadership contest is over. We all know what the situation is. Sorry? Okay. L let's move on to the... Um, let's... <laughs> yeah, the silence was deafening, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just this, that that deaf that deafening silence just told you everything you needed to know, didn't it? But damn, got a clue what they're talking about. And, and we've we've read so many economists who said that cutting taxes will not help. It will probably help the rich more than than uh, the poor. So <sighs> what's to be said? <sighs> Never trust the Tory. Yeah. Right, I shall leave the video here and until the next time I shall bid you farewell and take care.